the most praiseworthy level in the sight of Allah is Ihsan. Ihsan is excellence for the sake of Allah. In Islam, we are advised to seek Ihsan in every aspect of our lives. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, explained Ihsan in a beautiful sentence. He said, It is to worship Allah as if you see him, for though you do not see him, surely he sees you. Ihsan is not just believing, but honouring the fact that Allah sees you and acting in a way that brings you closer and closer to him. Ihsan makes you go the extra mile to distinguish yourself and not be like the average person. At this level of excellence, how well would our time be spent? You as a believer, as a Muslim, have to push yourself to better. Whatever you're doing. If you're memorizing, you could be memorizing better. If you're studying, you could be studying better. If you're working, you could be working better. If you're volunteering, you could be volunteering better. Push yourself to better. Push yourself, especially when you're young. Right now you have the freedom you will never ever have in your life. This is the time to push yourself, not sit back and play video games. This is not the time to watch, sit there and watch movie after movie after movie. This is not the time to be excited about the new Avengers or whatever. This is not the time, not for you. You have much bigger things to do. The entire world is waiting on the impact that you will have. You can't sit around. Everybody else can, that's fine. They don't have higher pursuits. You have to be the person of excellence. Every single young man and woman in this audience should be thinking about what did Allah give me? What talent did He give me? And what impact will I have on this planet because of it? What am I going to do with it? And as you think about that impact, then you realize what you're really working towards. You're working towards contentment, meeting with Allah. That is our ultimate truth. You want to be able to show Allah that you did everything in your potential. That's what you want to be able to do. You guys should have the best sleeping habits. You guys should have the best dietary habits. You, you guys should have the best exercise schedule. You guys should be the best in your prayers. You guys should be the best in your studies. You should be pushing yourself to excellence in everything you do in life. Everything you do in life should be at the top. Ihsan makes you realize there is a much higher purpose than allowing time to be wasted. The Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him said, Allah has written excellence on everything. If you push yourself and work hard to master any skill, you will achieve excellence. Ihsan is working for this excellence, seeking only Allah's pleasure and no one else's. In another hadith, the Prophet advised us to take advantage of our free time before we're busy and our life before our death. The reality is, we are all getting closer to death with every passing day. Once we die, all of our actions after that mean nothing. Our test is over. When we are questioned about how we spent our time and how we used the skills we were given, could we give a confident answer? Allah says in the Quran, that when the people are gathered on the Day of Judgment, before the judgment begins, the people, everyone, Muslim, non-Muslim, everyone, they will ask one question. How many years do you think we actually stayed on earth? As though the person is saying, I don't feel like it was a lot. Let me ask the people. Allah says the people give a reply. Everyone gives a reply to others. They will say, قَالُوا إِلَّبِثْتُمْ إِلَّا يَوْمًا أَوْ بَعْضَ يَوْمًا Wallahi, we don't feel except that as if we lived for a day or part of a day. La ilaha illallah. Your whole life was probably not only more than a day. And that is when the people begin to regret and say, this is what I complained about. A day or part of a day. This is which I have wasted. A day or a part of a day. This temporary time is why I was worried. I was complaining how many prayers I have to pray. This was the time which I gathered and hoarded and built up all my wealth and my money. And I forgot about sadaqah and zakat and the rights of others for a day or part of a day. I wasted my time and sold my hereafter for this world. Allah says in the Quran, on that day man will remember. Yatadakkar. They will reflect, they will remember, they will ponder, they will understand, and they will come to a conclusion which is definite. But Allah says, But what would all of this benefit him or her on that day? 
on that day man will realize that they have mixed their priorities the everlasting for the temporary so the question what is your priority judge yourself before you are judged time is flying by we must be self-critical how do we live our lives where do we spend our time Allah says in chapter 53 verse 39 man can have nothing for himself except the effort that he made Allah wants to see effort and sweat no matter what the result don't worry if you fail in achieving your goals Allah respects your pursuit this is the beauty of Islam if you sit around scrolling through social media or playing games or watching movie after movie what is your life going to mean what are you pursuing if you love programming, make useful apps. If you love cooking, cook for the poor. If you love editing, make beneficial videos. If you love speaking, spread the beauty of Islam. Strive to be the best in character, in relationships and even when at work. Our aim should always be to better the world seeking Allah's pleasure in any way possible. Sit down and think, what skills has Allah given me? What interests me? Nowadays, you can learn anything on the internet. Find something you are interested in, study it, learn it, practice it, and apply it for the sake of Allah. Work on a lifelong project to present to him on the day of judgment. Aspire to be excellent and watch your life transform for the better. We are people of Islam and we cannot settle for being average. We have a higher purpose. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.